Good evening and welcome. Tonight we've got the Indiana Hoosiers hosting the Akron Zips. My name is Zach Browning alongside Austin Platt. Andrew Hillsman with us up on top of Memorial Stadium as well on a picture perfect evening for college football here in Bloomington, Indiana, Austin. It's been a long Saturday, a 7.30 p.m. kickoff tonight between Indiana and Akron. How are you doing? Irons takes a snap, drops back to pass from the right hash. He's looking down the scene. That is intercepted. Intercepted at the 15-yard line. Indiana going the other direction. I don't have a number on that yet. It looks like it was Philip Dunham who came away with that interception. His third of the year. Third and goal from the sixth, scoreless. Here in the second quarter, 10 minutes to go in the second quarter. Jackson takes a snap, will hand it off up the middle of the turner. He bounces it around the left side and into the end zone. Sneaking inside the pylon is Christian Turner for the first Hoosier touchdown of the night. Drake Anderson remains in the backfield. He stands alongside Irons in the shotgun on third and 19 from their own 16. It's a fake handoff up the middle. Irons will step up into the pocket and fire it over the middle of the field where it's intercepted. Going the other way are the Indiana Hoosiers. Going towards the near side pylon is Lewis Moore. He's pushed out of bounds just inside the five. First and 10 from their own 39. Jackson drops back to pass. Fires the pass over the middle to the seam, but that's intercepted. Going the other way for Akron is Andrew Bame. He's pushed out of bounds on the near side of the field after turning it inside the 30-yard line down to the 24 of the Hoosiers. Keep it tuned here. Indiana 7, Akron 3. After the first 30 minutes of play, you're listening to Indiana Football on 99.1 WIUX. 10 minutes and 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. Akron trails Indiana. 7-3 the Hoosier lead. Irons in the shotgun. Takes a snap. Fakes the handoff to Lingard. He'll keep it himself up the middle. He skips around a couple of defenders and leaps into the end zone for the touchdown. DJ Irons from 15 yards out puts Akron on top. Just over six minutes to go in the third quarter. It's second and nine from the Akron 13. Empty backfield, four under Cuffler. On the near side of the field, three wide receivers in the formation. He'll take the snap, look over the middle. He's got a receiver there, but that one's tipped up into the air and picked off. That's Lewis Moore. He's got it at the 10. He's going to bounce out of the far side of the field towards the goal line and into the end zone. Fourth and four from the Indiana 37. Three wide receivers on the field now make that four for the Zips. Anderson in the backfield alongside under Cuffler. He takes a snap. Left side hash mark. He's pressured and brought down in the backfield. It's Andre Carter who gets there first. He's walking on all fours to celebrate a big sack on fourth down for the Hoosiers. That's a turnover on downs for the Zips. And Indiana will take over near midfield. Second down and one. The play calls a handoff to Lingard. Lingard has space. He's breaking it on the right side hash. He's got nobody in front of him. Down the right side. High stepping into the end zone goes Lingard. 71 yards out. And Lorenzo Lingard takes it to the house for the Zips. Dante Jackson has a 31 yard attempt with five seconds to go to try and shock the Hoosiers. Snap is good, hold is good. Jackson's field goal is up. And it is no good. Dante Jackson's field goal is no good from 31 yards out. And we are heading to overtime here in Bloomington. Iron standing on the right side hash mark. Third down and nine from the 10. Irons takes a snap, drops back to pass. He's looking left. Pushed back. He's going to scramble to his right. He's going to get around the edge. He's got some room to run. He's going to cut back into the middle of the field. Down that right side hash. He's towards the end zone and in. DJ Irons, magic with his feet. And the Akron Zips have the lead here in overtime. And the shotgun once again. Lucas in the backfield alongside Jackson. It'll be a play action pass. Jackson will roll to his right. Along the right hash. He's got to get rid of it. He throws it towards the end zone. Does he have Camper? He does. Cam Camper wrestles it away from an Akron defensive back. And the Hoosiers are an extra point away from forcing a second overtime period. Zionsville native Chris Freeman will send the kick on its way and will send the kick through the uprights to give Indiana a three-point lead. Dante Jackson, 22 yards out, trying to send this game to a third overtime period. He missed a field goal to win it in regulation. His 22-yarder is up, and it is good. 
As we'll have another Wildcat formation. Donovan McCauley shifts into the backfield. He'll take the snap from the shotgun. Flip it back to Jackson. Jackson throws into the flat to the wide open to Keith Carter. The Keith Carter in the flat. The two-point conversion attempt is good. And Indiana takes a 29-27 lead. 29-27. DJ Irons in the shotgun formation. Takes the low snap. Looks to his right. He'll fire towards the middle of the field. That one falls incomplete. The Hoosiers survive here at home against Akron. 